Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick overview and swatch type of video. I thought this would be fun because I received the Jouer Fall 2016 collection. They released 10 new liquid lipsticks and a new lip topper and then they also released three new powder highlights. Um, I've talked about on my channel before how the Jouer liquid lipsticks are my absolute favorite. So I really wanted to do this video showing you guys all the new liquid lipsticks and the new highlighters just in case there might be something that you'd be interested in. So if you're into it, please make sure that you keep watching and please be sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So if you guys watched my previous makeup haul, I showed four of the new Jouer Fall liquid lipstick shades. So there's obviously additional shades and then they also released another lip topper. Um, if you guys remember the Mermaid collection from over the summer, they released a lip topper called Skinny Dip and this is another one in tan lines. So if you guys are familiar with the Jouer lip toppers, they're formulated specifically to go on top of a liquid lipstick without breaking down the formula as much. Um, I'm sure if you guys have tried putting any type of gloss or balm on top of a liquid lipstick, you guys know that that like severely cuts down the wear time of the liquid lipstick by so much because oil and anything like kind of greasy is a liquid lipstick's worst nightmare and it's just going to make that formulation come off patchy probably going to take it right off the lip. So these are formulated specifically to go on top of the liquid lipsticks without ruining the formulation. And yeah, they're really cool. They are really shimmery. And this one, let's swatch it on the back of my hand. And then I'll actually put it on top of my lips. It's a really pretty like bronzy shade. So you could put this on top of any liquid lipstick that you want. Specifically, I would say I haven't tried it with any other brand other than the Jouer ones, but in theory, you could put this on top of any liquid lipstick and it's going to be better than a gloss or something because it's not going to break down your liquid lipstick and cause it to come off quite as easily. I'm also wearing one of the new shades. This is Cabernet. It is a matte, deep, cool red. This is my favorite one of the entire collection. I love red lipstick. It is my favorite. <laughs> and then there is Bronze Rose, which is a cool toned, deeper rose shade. This is a metallic matte. So to me, the metallic matte liquid lipsticks just kind of give off like a brushed metal type of finish. And I'm pulling up the Jouer website so I can kind of describe these shades to you guys as accurately as possible. So the next one is the shade Penny. This is described as a metallic warm copper. So again, this is going to be one of those matte metallics. And then we have the shade Filigree. And Filigree is described as a matte metallic warm champagne. Next we have the shade Terra. And this is described as a matte neutral deep ochre. And that description is intrigues me about this color. We're going to have to swatch that one next. Um, and then the last one is another metallic. This is in the shade Dahlia and Dahlia is described as a metallic cool electric plum. And now we can move on to the powder highlighters. So it says here that these uh, powder highlights are ultra fine pearls and luminescent pigments to create the ultimate lip from within glow. This creamy powder formula is long wearing, highly pigmented, and layers with our best selling cream highlighter for the perfect radiant finish. I have told you guys before that Jouer, I just started using Jouer in 2016 and they are easily one of my newest favorite makeup brands. I love, I think I love everything that I've tried from Jouer. So I'm very excited to try these powder highlights. From my knowledge, like I said, I'm pretty new to this brand so I don't really know if they have any other powder highlights previously, but I love their cream highlights, like easily hands down my favorite cream highlights that I've ever tried. Anyway, let's get into the highlights. So this first one that I'm pulling out, oh my gosh, the packaging is amazing. It's so reflective. I'm getting it all dirty with just the lotion on my fingertips, but that packaging is insane. So this first shade is going to be in the shade Topaz, if I can open it. Oh my gosh. So beautiful and if you got again like if you can feel this powder is it has like an emollient quality to it it's so creamy it's one of those powders where you know when they're just so high quality and really finely milled and have a good amount of oil to them that they just run through your fingers I mean look at my fingertips right now from that so that's the shade topaz absolutely beautiful gosh I'm swatching on the back of my hand and it's insane Right there, so beautiful. And the next shade is Rose Quartz. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a rose gold. I mean, this packaging is so gorgeous. Um, 
I'm getting it so dirty though because I have lotion all over my hands. Oh, it's actually more of a pinky champagne. Like I would describe this as a pink bubbly shade. Um, let's test out this powder. Again, ugh. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So this is a really beautiful one. It's kind of a pale gold with pink in it. There is rose quartz. And then the last shade is the shade Citrine. So I have no idea. Ooh. I think this one is probably my favorite. This, I would say is a golden champagne shade. These are so beautiful. And I'm gonna put a little bit of citrine on my face. Not too much though. So down the bridge of, oh. <laughs> I put a little bit too much down the bridge of my nose. My fingers right now. And honestly, it's a mixture of all three on my fingers. So they look really soft and pigmented on the skin. So pretty. And I'm going to put some under the brow bone as well. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, let's try the tan line lip topper on top of Cabernet. So on my lips right now, I have Cabernet. But it's really pretty and it's kind of made it like shiny you guys can see it's a matte it's got that like matte metallic finish to it so that's really cool I'm excited to see what it looks like on top of the other shades though Alright, guys so that's it for this kind of first look overview type of video I hope you liked it I hope you thought this was interesting if you did like it and you'd like to see more videos like this be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know if you already have some of these colors or these highlighters if you've purchased them be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of them I'm excited to try the highlighters on my face so yeah, I will, well I mean I already tried it on my face but I'm excited to like try it as the only highlighter and wear it for a whole day. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this. Be sure to leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to come follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I will have all three down below for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye guys.